Fish time. Photo of some bait. Okay. I'm assuming that was the bait. Fresh fish, good. Still must be. Well, isn't this guy a very dull guy? Okay. We only have one energy at the moment. No, we need two energy for that, okay. Um, I guess we'll play that for now. Salmon moves to a new space, huh? Okay. Um, so we can energy this guy. And then we should be able to sacrifice these two guys. Okay. Yeah, so I just didn't have, uh, I didn't have enough things earlier. That's what the problem was. Salmon emerges from the deep. Okay. Um. What is this guy? Only one blood for Mole Man. It's got air defense too, which is nice. Um. <clears throat> we can sacrifice this guy and then play him. And that should help us regain momentum a little bit. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we don't really need the energy, so we'll just play a turn, I think. Oof. That's fine. Alright. Yeah, that should be... That should honestly... Yep. There we go. There we go. That's a win. You beat, you pass. First take. New beastly card pack. Boop. All right, um, muscle mage. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I'll take them. I'll take them. Okay, I'm assuming I don't want to hit that trap. Patches of dried blood cackled as he pried the chest open, but two packs were inside. <laughs> nice, a raven. A new, another leap bot. A grizzly, which is nice. We've gotten so many... Ureoli? Ureoli? I think that's how you say that? Okay. Another mole man. That's nice. Warren's okay. Elk Fawn's not bad. What is this? <clears throat> a copy of it's created in your hand. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. Kind of like an infinite damage type card. It's not a lot of damage, but it's something. What's, uh, what's going on with this hopping dog here? Do we have to, like, push it into the trap or something? Do we have to hit the trap ourselves? We're gonna try it. Oh, we push it. Okay, I see. <clears throat> that makes sense. I don't know if he, like, notices me doing it or not, but... go back over here. Maybe. If we get lucky. No. Maybe if we're on this side, he'll push over there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Kind of feel bad. He was just a... Uh, he was just a dog hanging out, and we had to go and trap him like that, but... Gotta do what we gotta do, I guess. Looks like a slipper now, kind of. Slip him on, and... You got some cozy footwear for the, the cold, I guess. 
I think that's everything. We have a Pell, actually. I think that's what that was for this guy. You have brought a pelt. I am pleased. Yet another turn of the skinning knife. It is time to set another trap. <clears throat> I smell the hare's blood on you. Oof. I see what you mean when the trapper and the pelt person, or whoever they were, they're the same person. I see that now. Um... Oh, I don't have enough energy. I just have one. That's right. Is that an air card? No, it's a burrow. I mean, I guess I'll just play this guy here, I guess. It doesn't really do much, but... Gives me some defense, I guess. Just until we can... Get some actual cards out. Yeah, those two. Yeah. I remember you mentioned that last time. That's not good. Um, we don't have any energy, so we kind of have to pass because we only have one card, so we can't sacrifice that at the moment. Oof. Okay. Um, well, I'd like to get rid of this guy if I can help it because he does a lot of damage. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we lost anyways. Okay. Come closer. You'll make a fine pal. Okay, so it's not the same to where if you lose, you kind of just have to restart. Okay, I see. Oh, I need two energy just to play that guy. Three energy to play that guy. Okay. Um, all right, so I guess we just have to start out with this guy again. Um, we have two energy, so we could play this guy. Perfect. And then, uh, if we sacrifice both these guys, we could get... The mole's gonna do us kind of dirty, though. Actually, you know, we could, uh... We could make this guy go here, which I think I'm gonna do. Because the... That guy's gonna come over here now that this guy's here. Now that'll prevent the coyote from coming down. At least for a moment. So we have four... Okay. Well, that guy died. That kind of sucks. Oof. Not looking so hot right now. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, we need some damage right about now. So... I think we take out this guy. Ah, uh, that takes up all of our stuff. Okay, well, we might... What is this? What does that do? I don't know exactly what that does. Does it get rid of one of my cards and give me the energy back? No, it's for bones. Okay, now I know what that does. Didn't really help us any, because we lost pretty much because of that, but... Okay. <clears throat> Man, this guy sucks. That makes sense. Okay, so I'll play this guy again. Until our energy gets up. I got require a six. These guys don't really do a lot of damage, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, I do remember seeing that. <coughs> <clears throat> I 
Okay, well, I mean, he can't block both of them, so... Oh, yeah, I also remember that there's that staff, too. I'm sure that comes into play um, a little later, maybe. Or maybe it has something to do with, like, the wizard stuff. I do remember seeing that as well. Oof. Okay, well, we get one energy from him, but he costs two energy. Hmm. Oh, yeah, was it a paintbrush? Yeah, it was something above the hammer in the cabin. I knew it was something. <coughs> okay, um, well, this isn't particularly great. Yeah, now we're gonna lose again. Dang. My, my deck kinda sucks. <clears throat> I don't know how much I like the energy system at the moment. Kind of seems like it's doing me dirty right now. Because this guy doesn't attack or do anything. So we just kind of get free hits. Unfortunately. Okay. I could play this guy. This mole man keeps coming up. I mean, yeah, I just, I don't know. It kind of just seems like this guy has so many more cards than I do, and the, my guys are so weak. They don't really do much. <clears throat> okay, um, well, we can at least take this guy out. We need to get rid of that guy for sure. Okay, well that didn't really help me at all. I probably shouldn't have played that. Okay. Sacrificing isn't gonna do me anything here, really. Yeah, this, this kinda sucks. This is really, really bad. I'm, I mean, I'm just getting really bad RNG, or this deck just kind of sucks with the cards I have right now. Let me see. Okay. Um, three steam bots. I don't have a lot of steam bots. I have a lot of 49ers, a lot of leap bots. Let's see. <clears throat> I kind of feel like these thick droids aren't really very helpful. Yeah, I could definitely try doing that too. These guys suck a lot. I'm honestly just going to take these guys out. Because they're not really doing me any good. I don't want a mole man as well. Okay. Hopefully that should be fine. <clears throat> yeah, we can take a look at uh, we can take a look at the woods. See what's out here. Okay. What's this? Okay, a salmon. Clover. Okay, and what's this? Let's talk to this guy, maybe. Sometime I try this spot. Find a good fish. Corrupted fish. Old fish. Okay. <clears> 
<clears throat> um, doesn't seem like there's much over that way. Can't really do much over there. Okay, can't go that way. Oh, I see. That makes sense. That's good to know. I probably would have figured that out as we kind of did the battle, but... The first two guys were really easy. This guy's just kind of being a pain in the butt with that mole. Okay. I mean, this isn't bad. We could realistically play this guy. And then play an energy guy. And then we could get ourselves a little fish slap thing. Which would help us with damage. A little bit. Because he does two. Okay. Um, let's see. So we'll play this guy. Um, and then... We'll get rid of him because he's not that good. And then... He only does one of damage. Oh wait, we need to sacrifice both of these guys. That's right. And then we play that guy there. That's fine, honestly. As long as he's blocked and can't really do much, that's fine. Okay, this is not bad either. We don't have a lot of energy, so we're gonna kinda have to just push it out that way. That's fine. This guy should help us recover a bit, maybe. Um. Okay. We Mm, we'll wait for another turn to summon something. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, that's fine for now. Um, we have, what, five? So... Okay, so we can get rid of Coyote with that. No, we should probably get rid of... He's gonna do three damage. We might be in a pickle here. Um... Because this guy still has one health left. We do need to get rid of this coyote. For sure. Maybe we'll play... Yeah, I don't think there's really much we could do. I'm just going to try to... No, it's not going to help me in any way. Yeah, there's not really much I could do here. Because either way, one of, one of those hits is going to take me out, and I don't have... I needed one more energy to, to work it out. Damn. Yeah, well, I guess that would have happened anyways. Damn, that was a bad roll. Trapper kind of sucks a lot. I mean, I'll just play this guy here just so that way we can get some defense, but that's really all we can do at the moment. Okay, and then... Okay. Gives us some defense for a moment. And we have three. So... It's not good that we have three fives. It's not a good roll at all. It costs two. I mean, we kind of just have to sit here and take a hit, really, because... I mean, if we do, though, we're gonna die. Okay, well, that was a terrible draw. Because this just gives us one energy cell, which is pointless when we're in this situation. So, yeah, we lost this one again. Pretty much. Yeah, no, these costs are terrible. Three fives is, I mean, that's terrible.
Yeah, I mean, we take one more hit and we're dead anyways, so... <clears throat> Didn't really do us any good. Too many, apparently. We've got two of these guys, which cost six. Four of these guys. I don't know why there's four of these guys. I don't need four of those guys. Those are way too expensive. These guys kind of just suck. I don't know why there's so many of those in there. Um... I'm gonna do that. Let's see. Um, I didn't necessarily trust it. I kind of just did it. And then, uh, I forgot about it. So, I mean, I guess, yeah, you could say I did trust it to a degree. <clears throat> There's a lot of bones. Also, if Skellum Mages' his owner controls no mox cards, Skellum Mages perishes. Okay. Um, that is kind of nice, but I need six bones for that. Guess we'll go Bloodhound. This guy's nice, but you need four blood for that, which is kind of hard. We'll go Grizzly, I think. Okay. Okay, that should be better, hopefully. Because that other deck kind of sucked real bad. Okay, so this is much better. So we can defend against this. And then we'll sacrifice him. I think. Yeah. And then we'll play this guy. So that way we're kind of a little bit at even odds here. Okay. And then we need two blood for that. Which is probably a good idea. Because that can take him out pretty decently. Okay, that took a lot of damage for us, which is great. Because we absolutely needed that. Okay, the trap is dead, but my card's dead as well. But we still have one, which is fine. Okay, we're doing better this time around. We have five, which that's not great, so we can't really do much here. We kind of have to take a three hit, which is kind of bad. Um, yeah, because we just got an unlucky roll on a six there, which is terrible. And we don't have any blood to do anything, really, so... Oof. Yeah. Nothing I could have done there. We got screwed with the roll. <clears throat> this is fine. I probably should have put this here, but it's fine. It was a good start, but the deck ended up screwing me still in the end. Unfortunately. I could probably sacrifice this for these. Okay, and then we can take this guy out, and then he'll leap over to block him, which is fine. Okay, and then we can get this guy. We don't have any, we didn't get any tech cards. It kind of sucks. That kind of sucked. Because we're not really getting anywhere progress-wise with the mole here. Okay, well, that'll at least prevent the frog. Well, no, actually, it won't, because he's moving. It'll at least prevent us from taking damage. Here, let's take this guy. That's fine, and then we'll take him out. That's fine if he goes out, though, because then we can... Okay, we can sacrifice... We can play another one of these guys, and then we can sacrifice that guy... For a mole. 
So we have some extra protection, I think. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> this should be a lot better. Oof. Okay, well, we need to... Absolutely get this going. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. That's much better. This guy does a lot of damage. That's fine, though. There we go. And I don't think he has any cards left, so... There we go. Finally. Jeez. I was going to place the grizzly bear, but he ran out of cards, so... It didn't really matter. You've defeated the three of us now. Leshy awaits. And a beastly card pack here. Ooh, what is that? Ruby Golem. Can't be sacrificed when Ruby Golem perishes. Ruby Mox is created in its place. Okay, that seems like magic stuff. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh, that's nice. That's a really good card. That That's a really good synergy card with the uh, thing. Let me, uh... Let me get that guy in there. Does he count as a... Insect drone? Oh, that's just for flying. That's okay, I guess. Oh, he does count as one of these. Okay. Um... Yeah, that's true. I'm gonna add this guy, because that guy's pretty good, it seems. Oh, that's a minimum. Okay. I didn't realize that that was a... Okay. So we can just add everything, then. I guess we probably don't want to add everything. Because <clears throat> we could get screwed. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was kind of thinking. So, I don't really care for the count too much. The bullfrog is okay. I think this is fine right here, what we have. I think that's fine. 25. Alright, Leshy. I had bested the unhinged prospector, the Gorm Zangler, and the enigmatic trapper. You found yourself standing before the ultimate match, Leshy, the scribe of beasts. Your ambition is to replace P03. Good, though, if you do not defeat me, you will not get that chance. Steal yourself for my beast will show you no mercy. My beasts are famished. Alrighty. Okay. Uh, we got a lot of tech stuff first roll. I think I'm gonna re-roll that. That's a little better. Um, I'm gonna throw this guy's kind of fodder down right now. Actually, no, I'm gonna... No, that because that's, that's gonna do a lot of damage. That'll be a lot of damage to me, so I'm gonna hang tight on that for now, I think. Oof. Interesting. Okay, so I think what we'll do is this, and then... Um... Good sacrifice for this, which would get us... Let's take this guy out, I suppose, because he's going to move anyways. One moment before that one dies. Only to capture its stats. Interesting. He gets a bunch of freebies, it seems. Okay. Let's do that. Get rid of that guy so he doesn't evolve. 
Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> mm, it would be nice to have that guy, but I don't think we'll be able to. That's fine. That's fine for now. He's got his own mole, which isn't good. Okay, that's good. We did need that. That's fine. Okay, we need four blood. Oof. I think we're fine right now. We can get there. We can get rid of that guy, at least for now. Oh, he's got another mole? That's terrible. We're not getting any energy cards, which is bad. I think we need more energy cards thrown in. Because right now we don't have a lot, and we're getting a lot of blood, which we don't need. Because we need these guys to be out. And this guy keeps throwing moles, which is terrible for us. There we go. There's an energy card, finally. We'll just use him, though, because we need to regain some balance here. And finally, the sigils. That will do. The deaths of your creatures will form a beautiful mosaic. Okay, that guy's not helpful, really. I guess I could sacrifice him, though. Um, yeah, we could sacrifice this guy. That'll save us a bit. That will definitely save us. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, this guy's good. Um, I mean, we're doing okay for right now. I don't have any blood to play him at the moment. I have something better. Oh. And that kind of sucks. Unintentionally made something really weird. I mean, it works out, I guess. That doesn't really work so well for us, unfortunately. <clears throat> I have made some very strange combination on accident, that's for sure. That guy has a decent amount of health, but he'll get taken out in one shot anyways. Um, ooh. I do need to sacrifice a guy for that, but I don't want to get hit by that grizzly. I kind of need a block there. Excess damage, okay. Oils gained, nice. Was incredibly bested. Far away, a light enveloped a long forgotten monument. Exactly, yeah, what the heck. Also, that guy was way easier than the trapper. You have triumphed, narrowly avoiding tooth and claw. The scribe of beasts was defeated. That you were able to defeat me beggars belief, but now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. Another pack? What'd we get? An adder. When adder damages another creature, that creature perishes. Okay. That's pretty nice. That thing's nice, because it only costs one blood. I mean, this guy's better, technically, though. Mole or Mole Man? Mole Man's definitely better. I'll take all of it, I suppose. I do want to add, um... Battery Low. Stop. What is that? What is what? Oh, it's a robot. I had to see your face after you lost. You're just so... Bad. It's no wonder we're back here again. And we would have been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at this face. Because you'll never see it again. 
I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. Interesting, that's the stout guy, originally. Interesting. Why don't they see? To live as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly a creature as a stoat. Alright. Well, that guy's done, it seems. So I think we can go to the undead section now. He's done with the bridge, finally. Um... I'm gonna go over here just because it was on this side. Nope. Didn't mean to accidentally walk out. You're here. Marvelous. I am Grimora, scribe of dead. Until quite recently, I was disgraced. Though I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting places of my lovely ghouls. Okay, what is this? Found a piece of epitaph. It reads, eaten by a hungry dog. Okay, do I need to find nine of those things? Does it matter where it goes? I guess we'll find out. I'll take it out later if I need to. Does not hold a grudge. Okay, I'm guessing if I talk to them, they'll probably tell me, like, some more stuff here. Oh no, oh no, do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please let us get it over with. Okay, so are these guys just gonna be a battle before I hear their story? Okay. I suppose that's fine. Oh, I didn't add the... I don't think I added the adder. Dang it, that's not good. 49er moves over a space. Oof. Okay. It's not good that it really moved over. Kind of needed you not to move over, really. Um. Okay, I could. I honestly should have played that guy this well. I guess I kind of needed to get the advantage back over on it. Five, that's perfectly enough for that. Kind of what we needed at the moment. Actually, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, I guess we have more points now, all of a sudden. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess let's, uh... I don't have enough blood for that guy. Okay. I guess we'll wait for the next turn then. Alright. And then, uh, seven. Oh, whoops. Let's, uh, let's see this guy. And then... Shoot. We wouldn't have enough blood then. We would need two energy cards. We can do... We can still do this guy, though. If we play this guy. And then... We sacrifice this for this. Warren... Oh, does it give extra blood? Interesting. It is over, you chewed me out. Now, please, look away. Turn your eyes to this card pack instead. You received a deathly pack of cards. Buff Conduit. Other creatures within the circuit completed by the Buff Conduit gain one power. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Headless Horseman. That's kind of cool, but that requires 13 bones. Goodness. At the end of the owner's turn, Headless Horseman will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. That thing is kind of good, though. Five and five, and it's airborne? That's incredible. That's a lot of bones, though. After attacking, the skeleton perishes. Frank and Stein. Two and two, five bones. Okay. All right. I am called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please do not go digging up my bones. 
Sawyer Patel, 1702. Fall, 1778. The middle stone marks my grave. Okay, so he's in the middle. So he goes here, I think. Did we not get another epitaph? I thought we did. Please do not bark or beg. The middle stone marks my grave. Is that... Because he was eaten by a dog? Maybe? Not 100% sure, but I think maybe. Top section is names. Let me grab this. Brought down by a scurry. Or a scurvy. A gust of foul-smelling air billows from the casket. Oh, it's a weird creature. You have no offering. I do not have an offering. Okay, well, I guess I gotta come back to that guy. You sifted through the bones and found a card pack inside. Nice, deathly card pack. Sentry drone. When a creature moves into the space opposing the sentry drone, they are dealt one damage. That's kind of nice. It's kind of like a preemptive. It's not very strong, though. Another headless horseman. Okay. Yeah, indeed, a thing. A thing later. Okay. Um, I kind of feel like I need... kind of feel like I need less of, like... I need more tech stuff. Kind of, I feel. This guy gives a boost. I think I'll add this guy and this guy. This guy's not very good. Leave this guy's out for now, I think. Yeah, that's fine. I think those additions are fine for now. Okay. So, the tops are the names? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Because there is only three ghosts. So we need to find... Sawyer Patel. Eaten by a hungry dog. That makes sense. And then we need to find a last piece. Sir, actually, I think we already have this last piece, maybe. Does not hold a grudge. Cause did he say that? Let's see. I am called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Do not sniff or snarl. Okay, so it didn't say that he didn't hold a grudge. So I don't think that's his, per se. It's over here first. This trapper again. I do wish to trade. I got five foils. A death pack, a bone heap. Activate, pay two bones to increase the power and health of bone heap by one. Okay. At the end of the owner's turn, Gravedigger will generate one bone. That's kind of nice. It's very helpful for these guys. He's kind of just a basic. <clears throat> um, I think I'm going to buy that for now. I think that's fine. I think that'll do. I kind of feel like this angle's a little... Because I did change the angle up a bit. I kind of feel like it's a little too zoomed in. Mm. <clears throat> On the camera, that is. This is definitely a little much. Let me, uh... Move this back a little bit. So, there we go. Alright, uh, let's talk to this guy, see what he has to say. Bird, did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude, it's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. Interesting, alright, alright. Okay, um, not the best start, but I guess we'll take it. Now, for now, we'll just go with that, I think. Okay. 
Mm, that'll give us, if we do this, and then we can do that. Provides an energy cell, and then we can do this. Perfect. Well, he breaks, that's fine. Call emerges from the deep. This guy thaws, he'll just break into a skeleton, which is fine. Okay, um... Does this guy complete all of them, or does he just... I think he needs one on either side, I think is how he works. Okay, um... Yeah, we'll put a sentry there, why not? Sure! Okay, um, we need four for that guy. I guess we could sacrifice this guy for one of these. We could sacrifice him, but I mean, that wouldn't really get us too much at the moment, so it'd be kind of just pointless. Okay, well, I guess eight was enough for that guy. You won, but now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack on the house. Alright, I'll take a Deathly card pack, sure. Necromancer. When another creature you own dies, it is returned to life and dies again immediately. It kind of seems bad. Alright, you did beat me, so I guess I've got to fess up. The name's Casey. Casey Hobbs. I'm from the tombstone on the left. Casey Hobbs, okay. Okay, so we know the name. Brought down by Scurvy. They didn't really specify what they were brought down by. Maybe if we talk to him some more. Tombstone on the left, burr. Maybe they died by cold. That makes sense. He pulled an epitaph piece. The defibrillator failed. Okay, so... That makes sense. I haven't really looked at a lot of the, like, um, the bone card stuff, too, so... It would probably help to kind of look at a little bit more of that. Do I have the third one already? No, I don't. I just have the second one. But down by Scurvy. I still don't know which that is. Well, well, well. Oh, well. Indeed. Uh, Alright, let's talk to... Nope, not this way. Not yet. I don't think I got anything for that guy yet. Hark! A living slice of lemon approaches. Bright and trig as a lime. You think you'll squeeze a defeat out of me? I think this guy died to scurvy. Seems pirate-like. Very pirate-like. Okay, we're gonna do... This guy... And we're going to sacrifice this guy to put this guy here, because that's, I think, a good trade <clears throat> at the moment. That's fine. Ghost ship moves to a new space and leaves a ghost. Oh, well, don't you suck. Okay, I'm going to... No, I'm going to put this guy here. Take these two out. Perfect. This guy will move. That guy will move. Can you hurt? Can you hurt the ghost ship? I suppose it'll probably move. Yeah. There we go. Okay. There we go. Might as well. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know you could do that. So that makes sense. Okay. Um. All right. I guess that's all we really need to do. Okay. Well, this guy's gonna put us one back over. Uh. Let's see. We could put another guy here. We might as well. 
A little bit of overkill. Some more foils, we'll take them. We will absolutely take them. Aye, you beat the pulp out of me. Firstly, take ye this. Deathly card pack. Meat bot, ooh. That's nice, that's real nice. That guy's going in the deck. And because ye bested me with ye, I'll share ye me secret. Me name's Royal, it's the far right tomb. Here's the headpiece. Okay, this guy definitely died to scurvy. Uh, I'm gonna say does not hold a grudge. I feel like that's right. I think this guy was... The Fibulator failed. Oh no, not that one. This one. I think the Defibrillator failed on Casey, I think. It's kind of what I'm getting at the moment. Let's check out these little tombs here. Found a piece of the epitaph in the casket, among other things. Uh, reads hit by a something. I've actually skipped that. Hit by a falling piece of ice. Okay, that makes sense. So I think that's about right. I think we're on the right track here. I think we're on the right path. Okay, a card pack. Ooh, nice. <clears throat> Ooh, heck yeah. It's kind of nice. Moni. And then this guy, Cover Mage. Strike the opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. Alright. Cool. I'm assuming we gotta go up for... Whatever this is. Spooky mirror? What's this? Found the last piece. There was no cure. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I wonder... Huh. Okay. So we come out as different things. I wonder... I'm assuming one of these guys is a sacrifice, right? What is this guy, a bone guy? Maybe? Augusta fell smelling air billows from the casket. You have no offering. Okay. So either that's not the case or I picked the wrong dude. Okay. Um, or maybe it's just a skin. I suppose it could just be a skin. I mean, the thing is, is like, you know, like maybe the mirror is like a different person, you know? It's kind of what my, my train of thought was. It was like you were going into the mirror as like the character you started off as and then you like another like form came out if that makes sense and then you offer that instead of yourself that's kind of my train of thought i guess i'll be this weird looking guy um <laughs> yeah that makes sense i i guess i was just thinking too much into it I think this doesn't fit here. I think it's that one and then the... yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. I'll hydrate. I got you. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with some good water. Okay. So I think there was no cure for this. Maybe. And then... This one was does not hold a grudge, I think. Cool. Marvelous, I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. <coughs> marvelous, just marvelous. I was beginning to worry I would be sealed away behind those tombstones forever. Locked down at the mercy of a challenger's wits until one day discovered. But no. 
You prevailed, and now it's time to battle. Strategy is quite strong. I, I think I'm going to fail this first time, and um, not because, I mean, it's a bad strategy or anything, but I do want to add some more cards to the deck that I didn't add. <clears throat> Okay, um, well, I mean, the only thing we can really place is this guy at the moment. Takes a free shot, perfect. Okay. Hmm, alright. My guy's dead, and that sucks. Um, actually, should probably... I don't know what that is, but I probably should have kept that blocked. It's fine. Uh, okay, that's not good. Sarcophagus. Turn into a more powerful form. Okay. Um, well, let's do that, then. Okay, he had more health than I could deal damage, so he's gonna turn into a higher form anyways. Oof! We're gonna take too much damage. Okay. Yeah, that was not the greatest roll. Okay, um, so there was the there was this thing that I wanted to add because the meat bot's really good um, for that extra blood, I think. So energy bot really doesn't seem very helpful, to be honest. I'm gonna take it out. Kind of just seems like it's a bit of a placeholder for no reason, really. Um, these guys aren't really good either. They don't do enough damage. This guy's okay as, like, a sacrifice, I guess. It's really the only thing he's good for. Plays a couple of those guys in there just for sacrifices, really. <clears throat> um, this guy's probably pretty decent to have in here for the bones. Pay two bones to increase the power. Okay. That could be good. Ghost ship could be good as well. That's really good for blood. We'll add one of those. Um, we already have three Urellis. Or Urellis. How do we say that? Two is probably fine. Honestly. <clears throat> um, activate. Pay three energy to increase the power and health of Stim Mage by one. Okay. That's actually decent. I don't really have a lot of cards for that, but kind of seems like it would synergize with what I have well, at least at the moment. Another attempt indeed. All right. <clears throat> so, I think we'll play this guy. That's fine. I'll take a free shot at that guy. Oh, I only have the one energy, that's right. And then, I think we'll place this guy here. Sacrifice this guy. Take one freebie. That's fine. Oh, they need mocks? Okay. That is good to know. Okay, we'll take that hit for now. Um, doesn't really matter, because that guy's going to take a hit anyways. Oof. That's not good. We don't really have a lot of blood at the... I mean, this is kind of a bad hand right here. Like, really bad. Yeah. I mean, it could just... I could take a hit, but that's not really going to do as much good. <clears throat> uh... I can get rid of this guy, but that, like I said, they're not really going to do us too much good. Um... 
think this is pretty much an L on this one. Turn one to turn five. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. There was no winning that one. That was kind of a bad roll. Okay. Let's try this again, see here. Okay, this isn't bad. We do need one bone to start off, though. Um, That's a, kind of a heavy price. I mean, these guys are pretty decent. Because this guy can get me bones. This guy can stack bones. So these two would work pretty well together. This guy could help with defense. I think I'm going to take the hit for this right now and see what I get. Take the risk. Okay, that wasn't great. Because now I was I was really banking on getting a decent robot card. That sucked. Super hard. I took a big risk there and it did not pay off. Life, death, life, death. Alright. Um, okay, so again, kind of not good. I'm going to redo that. Okay, this is decent. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, I see how that needs that. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Um, but at least we could do this. And then we can sacrifice this guy. At least for now. Yeah, I don't have any green gems. Okay. Well, at least there's that guy for now. Get a free shot on him. Okay, it's not terribly useful. I'm gonna keep that guy there and then move. Oof. Okay, well that guy took a bulk of damage, which is nice for us, because we kinda needed that. Kinda needed that at the moment. Okay, that's fine for now. Oof, we don't really have what we need for that guy. Just gonna have to take the hit here, which might kill us. No, 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 he's gonna take the hit. Okay. Um, I mean, that's not great, to be honest. Yeah, we're probably gonna lose here. Yeah. Um, shoot. Mummy Lord, turn two to seven, death by Steambot. Yeah, it's, it doesn't matter anyways. Damn, okay. <clears throat> so let me, um, before I do that, let me remove this mage card. Because it doesn't really do me any good. Yeah, and I don't have any moxies for that specific type. So it kind of sucks. Um, yeah, okay. Mole's not bad. This I mean, this guy's not bad either. Probably add two of him, because he's actually pretty good. Take the adder, too, because if I could kill with the adder, that'd be helpful. All right. Uh, okay. Um, that wouldn't be bad. If I can get this guy pretty early on, that'd actually be pretty helpful. Um, that's fine. I'll take this guy out right away. Perfect. Oh, that's much better. Death by Grizzly. Live again. Okay, we don't really have anything right here, but this will give us four, so that's very helpful. That's fine for now. That's not good. We, uh... Okay. <clears throat> um... Okay. This guy's kind of not good. Let's take out that guy. 
death is never final. Rip Banshee. Death by Thick Droid. Okay, that guy's gone. Death by Grizzly. Okay, this, yeah, that's gonna kill us. Oh, no? Nope, that's not. Okay. Um, we could play another one of these guys, which would probably be a good idea. Okay. That's good for us. Uh, we do need a blood sacrifice for that guy. Um, this guy would be really hard hitting. Let's do, let's get rid of these two for the Bloodhound, I think. I think that's a good play right here. Nice. Nice. Okay. One more time. Potentially. Oh, fuck. Oof. As corpses. Oof. Well, that sucks. At least they don't require anything, though. So that's kind of nice. I wish I had more energy cards, though. Okay. Shoot. Okay, that's fine for now. Oof, not looking so hot right now. That's fine. That's okay. Okay, so... If we play this, we sacrifice this and this, get this guy. Okay. Hit this. Rip zombie, death by field mice. Okay, that's gonna hurt us, though. I think we're screwed, yeah. Damn. We got halfway. We got halfway through that. That was just kind of a bad roll on those cards, really. That second time around. We could have we could have definitely won. Alright, I mean that's not really gonna do much. Okay. So we'll need to save that for a good sacrifice, I think. Hit this guy, dip over. Okay, this guy is kind of a worthy sacrifice, to be honest. That's fine. Get rid of that guy, because that guy hurts a ton. Oof. Damn. There's nothing I could do about that guy. That guy was gonna kill us either way. That was kind of a bad roll. Fuck. It's this is so RNG. I'm not really the biggest fan of that, to be honest. Okay. Um, I don't really need anything to play this guy. Activated ability. Calm down, it's fine. Activate it by pressing the sigil like it's a button. But it will only work if you can pay the cost. Okay, I don't have the two bones at the moment. But yeah. It'll kind of just act as a barrier, really, at the moment, which sucks. Okay. I'm just gonna have to eat the damage here, I think. That really sucks. Because this guy counts as three blood. But that's not really helpful. Yeah, we're just gonna... Ugh, that was a bad one. That was horrible, horrible. Okay, this is not too bad. I think we can work with this. Okay. It's not good that we're getting blood sacrifice cards constantly. We kind of need something else, game. Please. Please. 
I mean, I guess that's something. It's not particularly what I was asking for, but I'll take it, I suppose. Okay. Um... We don't have any... Yeah, that didn't over. That sucks. Okay. 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 Alright. Probably not great, because we're still at three at the moment, but... Yeah. No. We still lost. Son of a bitch. We're just getting really, really bad rolls with the hands here. We've gotten... We've gotten her down once. Really bad RNG with the rolls here. Okay, turret's fine. Okay, and then we can sacrifice this guy. Do this. Hit him a couple times, and then we have this guy to play for defense here. Actually, we probably wanna... We probably ought to sacrifice this guy for this, because that would be more helpful. Yeah. And then the fawn should grow, move over. And at the very least, it act as a blockade against the sarcophagus. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, perfect. Now we just need the three blood card at the moment we don't have. This guy's pretty good. I might I might save him for a second, though. Because I do need that extra protection. Okay. I mean, that's... We're gonna place this guy... Do that. <clears throat> and then he'll just block that guy's damage for a minute. Which will help us catch up a bit here. Oh, we, we actually already won. Okay. That works. Oof. Okay, well, at, le at the very least, I can use this guy as a blockade for now for damage. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, and then uh, we can use this guy. <clears throat> okay, okay. Um, the adder is good. I do kind of need to get rid of that guy. But he's not really doing any damage at the moment. So we may need to hold off. I don't know. Because it'll definitely kill that, which will be good for us long term, but I don't know if that's going to help us right now. Because this guy will block two more hits. Okay, I'm going to do it just to get rid of this guy. I think, I think that's the right play. Because this guy's going to block the rest of their attacks. And then that'll give me enough room to get rid of this guy. Okay. Let's see. Oof. Not good. Not good. We need energy. We need energy game. Oof. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. Okay, that guy died, but I think we're still screwed here, because this guy's gonna move over and, yeah, he's gonna attack. Fuck. We always get the first round, and then the second round, we always just kind of get that bad roll. Okay, um... 
I mean, this guy gives us one energy, so I guess we'll sacrifice. Because, I mean... I mean, that gets gonna hit me, though. That's kind of bad. But at least I have an extra energy starting off, so that'll kind of be helpful. Let's see. Not terribly helpful, honestly, but... Is what it is here. Okay, that's fine for now. That'll kind of help us recover a little bit, I guess. Okay, so we have two. We could sacrifice and take that guy out. Which should be good, but that doesn't benefit our health right now. I think we're going to do it just because he'll be the most danger. But this guy might come down and kill us anyways, I think. No. He'll block it. Oof. Okay, um, we have this guy at least, I suppose. Okay, you inscribe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. You block the damage for now. Um, we'll just have to kind of take the hit here, I think. Uh, there's nothing else we could really do with the blood. We don't have any bones. We really ought to get some... I think we have a few bones. We don't have a lot of bones. I think we need to add some more bones to our deck, because we have a few bones kind of occurring here that we're not really using. Which is bad for us. Okay, I think I'm going to sacrifice this guy for the mole for extra defense at the moment. And then that'll take out that guy. And then this will defend against this guy. No, it won't, because he takes that spot. Son of a gun. Okay, and then... I can't do anything with that at the moment. He has no attack. That's fine, we'll just attack with this, I think. Other creatures within a circuit completed by a buff conduit. I don't think I have a buff conduit, I think, for to activate that, because I don't think... I think that's what that's for, and I don't really have much of that. Okay, that's fine. It's fine for the moment. Okay, um... Shoot. suppose we could just sacrifice this guy. Ooh, Sarcophagus was dealt some overkill damage, okay. Okay. Uh, this guy's not really helping much, so I say we sacrifice this guy for the deer here. Actually, we're gonna lose these guys in a moment. Probably. Someone emerges from the deep. <clears throat> okay, I mean, that's not the worst thing. We have a decent-ish card here. Okay, we got here again. We'll see if we can get this next one this time. We'll see if we can get it. We can throw in a, a, this to get a bunny. Which is fine. Um, let's, um... Let's sacrifice this guy, because this guy's not particularly very good. Pulls out a rabbit, which is fine. That'll basically just be... Fodder for now. And then... We'll hit with this guy. I don't have enough energy. Shoot. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Welcome back, Toke. How are you? How you doing? <clears throat> how was your, uh, how was your sleep? Hopefully good. Shoot. Okay, I guess we didn't really need to do that. Oof. That's fine. Okay, um... We can do a minor this way. A minor this way. 
And I suppose we'll just kind of keep him as a blockade for now. Take him out. Hope you're feeling better, Tog. A little nap never hurts. Okay. So I'm thinking I sacrifice this guy for this guy. And then... That's fine. I place this here for the block there. Hmm. I see. I see, I see. Okay, well this is an actual mole card, which would be good for the defense right now. So we'll place that here. That's fine. Two freebies. We'll take that, we'll take that. No worries. Don't even sweat it. We got plenty of bones. Nothing really to sacrifice though, which is kind of bad for us at the moment. But that's fine. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We can sacrifice and then... That'll block this guy. And then I can sacrifice him again for this guy. Perfect. That's the super helpful card, really. That's a great card. Overkill damage. Nice. Ooh, nice. There we go. I just needed the right cards. There we go. I just needed the right cards. I knew I could do it. I knew I had the deck for it. So this is what inscription actually kind of is, really. So that, like, little first part of, like, uh... A little first part of the game was, like, kind of like the intro to the game. And this is kind of, like, the additional. The meat and bones. There will come an opportunity to change your mind. And I beg that you spare me. Take these, then go. Oh yeah, what we got in the pack? Activate. Pay one energy to set the power of Gamblobot randomly between one and six. Okay, that's nice. That seems pretty nice, to be honest. I mean, it only has one health, which kind of sucks. Discard your hand, then draw a new hand of four cards. That's pretty good, too. Okay. Seven bones. When an opposing creature is placed to an... Yeah, it's just the bone hound. It's just a blood hound, but yeah. Okay. Battery, though. This guy sure runs out of a lot of batteries. Holy cow. <clears throat> Jeez, took you long enough to charge that battery. Oh, he's got more. He's got more lore. Okay. I think I've just got to send it. To whom it may concern. Looks like settings as opposed to an email. Hello there! Exclamation point. My name is Luke Carter and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. So it was a great okay. surprise to learn that there is a digital version of Inscription. I think maybe one of my fans pranked me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. Upon further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? Spooky lore. Any trace of this game? Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. I am both puzzled and excited by this discovery. Any information you can provide would be much appreciated. Thank you, the lucky Carter. Okay, good enough. Good enough indeed. Set. Look at that face. That's a face of a winner right there. <clears throat> hey, card gamers, I'm the Lucky Carter, and this. Well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a strange video. Mm -hmm. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do. So I'm hoping someone can help me out. Here. The face off winner, indeed. 
snap a screenshot, you win every time. An inscription video game or hear about it. I'm talking about that vintage one set card game I opened packs for last week. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. I've been uh, filming myself playing it and uh, it's weird, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell me someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for days and I cannot find a word about it. I reached out to the publishers hoping maybe they would get back to me, but as a fallback, I got you beautiful viewers. Hopefully dig up something. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. And, um, oh yeah, uh, what the fuck is the car? Interesting. Interesting. It's blocked out, huh? Okay. All right. Carnaval code. Do not look it up. You'll only get spoilers. Carnaval was the oldest known card game. Okay. Let's get context. Mr. Carter, we have received your inquiry regarding a digital version of our intellectual property inscription. We can assure you that no such software exists in any official form. However, if you have indeed come into possession of proprietary game from the hardware, you are compelled to return it to us under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. The hardware will be considered stolen if it is not returned to us within a reasonable time frame. Please carefully package the hardware and paste the attached shipping label to the front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post office. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay in returning the proprietary software. Sincerely, Game Funa, Customer Happiness Department. What the fuck? This guy's just... The face man, he's got the faces of the year here. Look at that, look at that beautiful face, there's another one. This guy's just got face for days. Face for days! Okay, that's nothing, cool. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. She came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer. We sure do be in scripting. Welcome in Gal Galaxia, how are you? We're just watching some lore here, apparently. We got some lore. Hi there. Hey. I'm a copy disc for a game called Inscription. I was told you came by a copy of it somehow. Uh. Sound familiar? No. No? No, I don't have anything. Manda, about okay. Thank you for the context. Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because, um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are a <laughs> Luke Carter, right? Oh. <laughs> you know the Lucky Carter gmail.com? Yeah, uh, you know what? That's, uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email. Oh, nice. Making physical inscription cards? Heck yeah. I noticed because I've seen Heck your yeah. videos. Heck yeah. I don't play too many card oh. games, like, physical myself. <laughs> um, that's really cool, though. Thanks for watching. Listen, uh, how'd you know I didn't notice. Exactly? My boss. Something may be off, yeah. get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, Luke. Oh, yeah, it did change colors. I'm going to give you my business card. It did. And if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free to give me a call. Okay. Something off. Will do. Indeed. Take care. What the fuck? Another face. See? Sky. Yep. Sky does it. Sky does it. Face of the year right here. Tell you what. He's got him down pack. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the lucky He Carter, does have an interesting shirt with a pocket. Opening mm. video. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil Valamir. I didn't notice the time of day. That makes sense, though. Can't do 
the addiction of Pokemon packs. <clears throat> Sounds about right. Yeah, I never noticed that. Uh, okay, what about this one? I'm assuming it's nothing. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. We got some more lore here. Yeah. Alright, alright. <laughs>